Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Emad and today I'm going to talk about Android 12 QPR3 Beta 3. I didn't create this video initially because I didn't spot enough features to make a whole video about but now after using it for some time I spotted some minor tweaks here and there that I'm going to share with you. Also I'm going to talk about the performance improvements and the other enhancements I noticed after installing this build on my Pixel 6 Pro. So let me show you everything new but before starting let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos and now let's jump in. Let's start with the build number really quick here on my 6 Pro it's S3B1.220420.005. Now let's talk about the new features in this build and the first one is the reappearance of the vibrate icon in the status bar if you are in vibrate mode like this. All you need to do is to go to settings and then go to sound and vibration, scroll all the way down until you find the switch called always show icon when in vibrate mode. Once you turn on the switch, as you see the icon is appearing over here and when I turn off it disappears but you can still see it when you swipe down to expand your notifications shade. Keep in mind that this feature didn't appear immediately after installing the update on my 6 Pro. However, it showed up automatically after a few days so maybe Google updated something in the background. Change number two is the new section under the widget speaker. As you see, I have a new section here called battery and all it includes is the battery widget that we got last month. It doesn't do anything different than before. It's exactly the same, but Google made it easier for you to locate it in your widget speaker. Change number three is the removal of the cellular network name from the internet tile. As you see here on my 6 Pro, it says LTE and there is no network name. But if I'm going to compare it to my Pixel 5 running the stable version of Android 12.1, as you see, I have the network name. And also when I go into settings, you will see the same difference here. On the right, I have the word Vodafone, but here all I have is the network type. Change number four is the new animation I get when I try to restart or power off the device. So let me show you how it looks. As you see, there is a fade out animation that takes place when I restart the device. But if we're going to compare this to the stable version of Android 12, let me show you this. As you see, the word restarting and then the screen goes black, but now it just fades out. Now let me talk about some of the enhancements I noticed after installing QPR3 Beta 3 on the 6 Pro. And on the right, I have the stable version of Android 12 running on the Pixel 5 to show you the difference. The first enhancement is in the battery widget. As you see when I tap on it and then go back home, the animation is linked to the widget, similar to the screen time one. While here on the stable version, when I do the same action, it doesn't do the same thing. However, the screen time widget works as expected. So you will find some inconsistencies in the stable version. Also, when I open one of the emails from the Gmail widget, as you see, the same problem exists. While here in QPR3 Beta 3, this is not happening. The second enhancement I noticed is the better overall performance. The device feels smoother and I barely see any lag or shutter while using the device. And also the frame rate is more consistent after installing this build on the 6 Pro. The third enhancement and the last one is related to the network usage. Now when I go to settings and then battery and then battery usage, I see the network or the mobile network is taking less than 20%. Before installing this build, I used to get between 25 to 29% of mobile network, but now it's always below 20. And as per the release notes, we got a total of three fixes. The first one is related to the Pixel 6 Pro, where a white line sometimes flashed on the screen after waking up a device without having the always on display activated. Another fix for the call quality and connectivity issues. And finally, a fix for the NHS COVID-19 app to crash when launching. But we also have a couple of known issues in this build. The first one is related to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. The system sometimes crashes when you try to take a picture. And the second one is related to the Google camera app icon. Sometimes it shows the work profile indicator, even though you are using a personal profile. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 12.1 QPR3 Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.